Hello everyone and welcome back to another Watch Reaper video! My name is Hector and today on the bench I have a Bomb Mercier Tronosonic watch. This timepiece is powered by the Tuning Fork Movement BM19162. And please, not to be confused with the Quartz Movement. It is a coil metal fork that vibrates at more than 300 times per second. Yes, you are right. So, this watch doesn't tick. It hums and will wake you up if left on the nightstand while you sleep. This beauty has a case made out of 18 karat gold, but unfortunately it's not working and I will show you the cause. On a quick inspection, we notice that when trying to move the hands clockwise, the second's hand moves as well. And this shouldn't happen, as you can see. This can be caused by a few things. One could be the cannon pinion too tight, the center wheel and its intermediate spring too tight, or, and most likely, the index wheel damage. The index wheel is the most delicate component in this movement. It has more than 300 teeth on a 2mm wheel. We're talking about microscopic teeth, very easy to damage. Virtually, any force applied to the second hand or train will shave off the teeth and render these part useless. Now we're going to continue by removing the case back, which is held in place by four screws. Then we're going to test the battery to make sure it has, it has good current and voltage. And then we're going to proceed with the examination of the index wheel. I'm pretty sure the battery is not bad because the watch hums, so it vibrates. But anyways, I wanna show you here that the battery has current and voltage. So we're going to remove it. Remember when we're removing battery, we have to use something different than metal because metal we short the cell and you know it's going to uh, shorten the lives. So negative and positive and here you can read 1.590.95. So it's close to 1.6, which is a good, it's not brand new battery, but it works. 1.598, so close to 1.6 voltage. So this is great. So we're going to put it back and then we're going to take it under the microscope. We're going to take this movement under the microscope and inspect the index wheel. There we go. Okay. So there we go. We're looking now at the index wheel, fingers and jewels under the microscope at 80 times magnification. The movement is not vibrating at the time, so we can see the index wheel clear. We can notice that the teeth are not crisp and sharp as they are supposed to. They are dull and shaved off. This is a very common issue on these type of movements, honestly. This is caused by poor maintenance or an excessive force used while servicing the movement. So now we're gonna we're going to activate the tuning fork so we can see the action of the index finger on the index wheel. Due to the bad shape of the teeth, the index wheel is sliding against the teeth instead of pushing them forward. The only solution, unfortunately, in this case is to replace the index wheel. This is an image at a thousand time magnification of a damaged index wheel, and we can see the shape of the teeth when they are shaved off. Now, we can conclude that watches powered by tuning fork movements are very delicate and extreme care should be taken when servicing them. If you like this video and you learned something new, please consider subscribing, like, share and comment. See you on the next one.